Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. An American mother and nurse and her child missing fear that they're kidnapped in Haiti. We've got the latest on that search. Welcome back to midday this Monday, the last day of July. I'm Cleo Green. There is an urgent search underway right now for the missing New Hampshire woman and her young daughter. ABC Stephanie Ramos reports. The search intensifying in Haiti for this American mother and her child who haven't been seen since Thursday. The woman, identified as Alex Dorsonville, was working for a Christian humanitarian aid organization called El Roy Haiti, according to officials with the nonprofit, when they say she was abducted. The morning of the reported kidnapping, they say she was serving in a community ministry near the capital of Port-au-Prince. In this promotional video, Dorsonville seen discussing her work. Kids from the school will get permission from their teachers and they send them over and come to the nurse's office and then I check them out. The U.S. State Department confirming agency officials are aware of the kidnapping reports, telling ABC News, we are in regular contact with Haitian authorities and will continue to work with them and our U.S. government interagency partners. The State Department now ordering families of U.S. government employees to evacuate and continuing to urge Americans not to travel there due to widespread kidnapping and crime. Local officials estimate 80 percent of Port-au-Prince is controlled by rival gangs. ABC's Matt Rivers recently reporting from there. This area is completely controlled by armed groups. It is one of the most dangerous places in all of Haiti. In fact, the only reason we're allowed into this area is because we've been granted permission. Gangs have been an issue in Haiti for a long time, but after the assassination of Jovenel Moise, the president in 2021, their power and violence associated with them has exploded. According to the UN, at least 846 civilians were killed across the country in the first three months of this year. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.